Hey LPS tubers, Lily here, and today I'm going to be talking about fake Littlest Pet Shops. Okay, so I know there have been fake LPS selling on eBay, even other companies ripping it off Hasbro. So today I'm going to show you some of my fake Littlest Pet Shops that I happen to have. Some of the fake LPS that I happen to have accidentally bought, have them given to me as a gift, thinking they're Littlest Pet Shops. So uh, let's start. So first I have this mommy and baby set. Um, as you can see with the mom's eyes, they're diamonds, and same with the baby. The necklace, you can't take it off. The heads are really squishy though. This is a sign it's not a Littlest Pet Shop because um, with a normal Littlest Pet Shop, like this duck, the head isn't as squishy. The head is a bit squishy, but I mean, it's durable, nice plastic. I mean, this one, it's super squishy. And even on the bum, it's a 601. Hasbro doesn't do that. There's also a flower right here on our leg. So this is a sign, it's something else. On the back, you probably can't see it. It says Maytel, made in China. Um, so this is obviously not Hasbro, it's Maytel. And this, I think, is Polly Pocket, honestly, because look at it. It's so Polly Pocket-y, don't you think? And then Hasbro, pretty sure with the pet shops, they don't actually do this with the mouth. It's got a hole. I think that's for the a bottle or something. And um, I don't know if you can take this off. This little, I'll take it off. Yeah, it doesn't come off. It's like a little leopard bib. It's really a weird thing. Never use these in the video though, so don't worry. That'd be like super weird. So this is what it looks like. Let's move on. To I also have these ones. They all have sparkly eyes and they all have the little flowers at the bottom. And they all have necklaces that can't be removed or tutus or any other things like that. So these are the Polly Pocket Pet Shop ripoffs. Okay, so right here what we have are Bratz Littlest Pet Shops. So um, they have no sign of anything on the bottom. No holes, no magnets, nothing. But I mean, they are pretty standard. They do look like pet shops, but the eyes really do remind me of Bratz. Um, also, these remind me of the new blind bag pets when they just color the whole thing and don't even... Hasbro and they just color the whole thing and they don't even bother adding any um, color details like this one They just painted it orange and just threw it in the bag. I have almost every single kind of pet shop So the first ones I'm pretty sure that came out are the ones with the pink magnets um, They're pretty old. I prefer the middle generation ones not the new new ones or not the new bobblehead ones There's middle generation. It's the ones that have holes kind of like Lily Jacob too. There are generations with little hair on their heads, ones that move certain ways, like this frog, you push its legs. I actually did customize this one, so um, it doesn't actually look like that when you get it. It's like the oldest generation. And right here I also have the glass eyes. So there are some pets with glass eyes. And uh, where are my other ones? So this one and this one has a glass eye. And this one has glass eyes. So those are ones with glass eyes. Then there are ones with eyes that are really creepy and they actually move when you turn the head, which I will never use in videos because I think that'll really creep people out. And then I'm pretty sure the generation that came after that one was this one. So the one with um, fluffy hair. I have a couple of these ones. Ones with fluffy hair, this one has some stuff on it. Excuse me, it doesn't look very good on camera. But, um, and they have the tinier ones, the tiny blue magnets. Next generation, which I love, is the generation with the holes at the bottom, like these. These are my favorite generation, and I think most people also would agree with me. Say your opinion in the comments. Um, some of them have sparkles, like this, on their head. It's kind of like makeup on her. And I like the ones with the holes like that. There is also the generation with the tongue. They've got magnets and they come with beds. I have a couple of these. I have dogs and a yellow cat. Like a mop dogs, I have two of those. Uh, I don't really like them there very much though. And the eyes, it's not legit. You hear the scratching? See, that's the eye. Pretty sure it came with a bottle and you hold up the bottle and it's magnetic, so it just goes <laughs> So um, 
that's that one. Yeah. Then moving ahead to the not very good littlest pet shops that are the newest. So they came out with these fairies. And what I don't like about the fairies is this. I find this really freaky. Even for little kids that play with pet shops, like six year olds. If this happened to a little kid, I think they would want to return it. And a really creepy weird thing is you can actually mix and match the heads. I'm never going to use these in a video. Why won't you go on? Oh, oh. Ugh. see, you can mix and match the heads, which is really freaky on my part. So I don't like these. Um, another addition they added is the walkables, which is also really freaky. Like if you're gonna make a pool party video, you wanna use a crab, you can't use this one. I mean, I have other crabs, but look at this. Okay, so next we have the see-through head pop-off pet shops. I mean, I don't care if he runs out of battery because I don't use them anyway. But um, the heads pop right off, like this. Oh, girl. There it is, yep. But its head is impossible to get back on. So I suggest never taking the head off the giraffe body because it's really bad. Okay, this is really interrupting my video, so I'm gonna throw that over there. Um, and then the newest Littlest Pet Shop these ones. So I used this one in Hotel Mess Up. It wasn't a good video. I didn't really have any music or any background music, but um, you should check out my 50 subscriber special. It's actually really funny. Um, but so there's these ones. They do, they added the holes again. They can fit onto some LPS decorations and things, but I still think these do look a bit like the other LPS. I mean, these are bobblehead, which I do like because they make the noise when you put them on tables and such. But I mean, the eyes are still, look, it's flat. It has no dimension. I think that's very bad. I don't like that a lot. But I mean, um, at least Hasbro bought, brought something that looked like the old pet shops back instead of just leaving it at that because um, I could never find any pet shops that looked like this. It's kind of hard to get pet shops like this even these ones. Uh, even at my local Walmart or Target, I can't find pet shops that are normal. I don't like how they painted the bow on. I mean, these are really adorable. Um, I fell in love with this terrier. I thought it was like the cutest thing ever. But I mean, the eyebrows make it look kind of mad. But I used it in the Hotel Method video also. Yeah, so I really don't like how they painted on the bow. I like taking it on and off. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna take it off with um, nail polish remover though, because it might ruin my pet shop. Thanks for watching my video. And um, another thing just to say is, if you are going to get a new LPS, just please don't get it. Because the more people that get the new, um, the new pet shops like this one, it's gonna make Hasbro think that we like them. And if we don't like them, then that's not good. I mean, if you don't like it and you want a pet shop and you just buy it anyway, I don't suggest you do that. It's not very good. And sorry, there are people outside mowing the lawn. Please don't do that right now. I'm kind of recording. Give me a minute, I'm closing the window. Okay, that's better. So uh, back to that story. So thanks, comment, rate, subscribe, and tell your friends. Thanks for watching, bye. I don't wanna sit here and talk forever, so uh, let's end it right here.